Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Chairman of the Wisinko Group, William Mafood, is calling for business people to cut prices in line with savings gained from the recent strengthening of the Jamaican dollar. Mr. Mafood, who was speaking last week at a function held at the University of the West Indies, said it's time for consumers to benefit from the gains in the foreign exchange market. Dash and Hendricks reports. A 3% gain, the Jamaican dollar bucked the trend of one-way movement late last year, falling from its all-time high, and the chairman of the Wisinko Group, William Afood, taking the opportunity in December to announce a 3% rollback in prices. Now he calls on his colleague businessmen to follow suit. Having seen a, a stable dollar now, we need to see more, more companies come forward and roll back prices. He said the rollback is warranted because last year when the U.S. dollar was trading for 131 to 1, his business and others were pricing ahead of that. We cost it at an exchange rate of 134 to 1. And that was, that's very common because when you have moving move currency, you have to ensure that you're pricing ahead of when you're going to pay your bills. Given that the dollar has gained value since then, this question. I would ask why other companies have not done it. For him, a rollback in prices is obvious. Consumers have paid the price for too long of an unstable exchange rate and now is the time for stability to be able to get consumers a level playing field. For the Business Day, I am Dashan Hendricks. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $127.11. The Canadian dollar is selling for $100.19. The pound sterling is costing $174.83, while the euro is going for $157.70. New data are showing encouraging signs for possible petroleum potential on the offshore and of on and offshore Jamaica. The data were gathered in a geological study conducted recently by the Petroleum Corporation of Jamaica, PCJ, and integrated geoscience company, CGG Roberts in the UK. The investigations, which were carried out over an 18-month period, discovered two independent live oil seeps in different sections of Jamaica's oil blocks. Detailed analysis confirmed active working petroleum systems that are generating and expelling liquid hydrocarbons to the surface. While the discovery of live oil does not guarantee that significant quantities are present in Jamaica's subsurface, the study findings provide scientific proof that could be attractive to potential explorers. In the meantime, Jamaica has indicated that it is ready to turn to Mexico to replace oil it now gets from Venezuela. The matter is to be discussed when the Mexican foreign minister visits the island next month. Jamaica is seeking to mitigate the impact sanctions on Venezuela is having on the country and sees Mexico as a source for oil. Mexico, on the other hand, is seeking to replace Venezuela's Petro-Caribe agreement in the region under encouragement from the United States. Now, stocks ended mostly higher today, pushing the JSC index up more than 919 points, while the junior market index lost 59. AMG Packaging and Paper, CAC 2000, Express Catering, Grace Kennedy, Kingston Wharves, NCB Financial Group, Proven Investments, Salada Foods, and Supreme Ventures were among the stocks finishing higher. On the other hand, Berger Paints, Derrimon Trading, Honeybun, JMMB Group, Mayberry Investments and Visinko Group all racked up losses. And that's the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.